Good evening. <clears throat> I'm back. So I'm just going to wait for a few moments. Hi, Dawn. Nice that you're joining me. Let's have a look. Just going to wait for a few moments. Hi, Donna. Hi, John. John. Jean. How do I say it? <laughs> I'm sorry. Stacy. Well, I think there are. Hi, Adele. Mary. Oh, so nice that you are you joining me tonight. Oh, thank you. I have to redo them again, but I love the color. It's really springy. Easter. I can make Easter eggs out of them. <laughs> hi, Pat. Hi, Kim. Well, I'm going to uh, start and uh, see who's joining us. Hi, Doreen. Well, I'm going to use, of course, Lisa Hot and Frost products. And um, that will be the Slimline Honeycomb frame. And the scalloped plain circles, the framed sentiments happy smile, and the layering stencil and dyes budding stem. These are amazing. Hi, Stacy Allen. You're a newbie. Oh, that's nice. Well, I hope you get some inspiration. And um, there are a lot of videos on uh, YouTube with tutorials and everything. So. If you want more inspiration, you can find it here on the group or uh, during the lives that we give or on the YouTube channel. So there's a lot of inspiration. <coughs> well, at first I used the plain and scalloped circles. Let me take the dice. And I will take this set for one moment. The whole die set. Just give me a second. There are a lot of dies in there. <laughs> okay, here they are. And there are more. And one more. So, this is the whole set with plain and scalloped circles. And let's see if I have them all right and let's turn this one over you can see it's a whole big set it has beautiful scalloped edges and also the stitched edges i'm using tonight i will be using these two they follow each other up yes it's a great uh, die set and at first i uh, cut a piece of blue paper using these two dies and you can see it creates a edge that I'm going to use later on. The next thing is I used only the outside die and I cut a piece of blue paper and um, I did also die cut the paper, the circle, with the honeycomb die. And I'm going to show you how I did cut out the whole piece. So I prepped it already, just a bit. So I have the circle. Let me put that just a little bit down so you can see it better. And I ran it through my uh, cuttle bug. And the first part is this. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to remove all the bits. Let me put that aside for a moment. So, now you only have the half of it. So you want to um, repeat it. And that's the beauty of this die. You can really easily repeat it. So if you cut out this piece, you take the die and then you go put it on the open parts and you can put it exactly where the holes are um, 
on the already cut out bit and if you feel it doesn't shift anymore I always take a piece of uh, tape and I tape it down on my um, cutting mat and this is the way you can repeat it and if you run it through well if I can do that one moment I didn't want to do but some people might want to see it so I'm going to stick also a little piece of tape over here there. then I put on the other bit and there's my old and sweet cuddle bug it has been doing the duty for years so you just run it through again And then you get the other part. So you can see this is the way to repeat the whole pattern until you have cut out the whole circle. So you do the, exactly the same on this piece, put it over there, find the slot where it is in and then cut it again. So I'm going to put that one aside. I'm going to use this one and later on I will be sticking this one over here. So that's one part. I will be sticking that on the card later on. The next thing is I used the frame sentiments and that is a set with two Two sentiments. It has the happy and the smile, and then it also has a shadow piece. Let me take that out. The shadow piece. Oh, here for the the shadow for the happy and the shadow for the smile, and it also has a frame. So if you want to use it like this with a frame you could also do that I won't be doing that tonight and I already cut it out so so you have the the shadow yeah this the sentiments are great and you can see it's crooked but I'm going to cut it out so you can see the shadow behind it and the next thing is, I will be I'm just going to show you for a little bit how I'm going to cut it so I'm only using the word. I'm going to follow the lines. If you think this is a bit difficult and you don't want to go wrong with the cutting then you take a let me find a well a pencil then you would take a pencil take the back side and see where the curves will follow like this and then you can follow the lines so if you're just a bit uncertain about how you want to cut it I'm going to cut it always from loose hand. So there is the smile. And that's what I've done also with this one. This is a bit more difficult. You can stick this on before you will cut the shadow. I always think that's easier. But you could also do it like this. Just make a line where you think the curve will go and cut around it and then you get this this is the opposite one like this 
and this is with the blue shadow and this is with the yellow shadow. I'm going to use the one with the yellow shadow tonight. So, if there are any questions, I'm going to try to uh, look on my tablet <laughs> during my life. But um, there are also some DT members who can maybe answer your questions or else I will be back later on. Then, of course, the stencils. The beautiful budding stem. This is such a beautiful flower. And it comes with a die and with the stencils. Uh, you must have seen already how this works. The stencils, they have numbers on them. And let me see if I can show it to you. If I can get it up like this. It has a 1, a 2 and a 3. So of course that means if you're going to use the ultimate, you're going to start with the 1 that makes the base of the leaves and a piece of the flower. So you can do that in another color. Then you have the 2 that has also the other leaves and just here a piece and the stem and also the green leaves here on the rose and on the budding or how you call it and then it gives some extra accents um, if you want to clean them don't go and rub them over uh, with a cloth because they have little small pieces over here if you go over it too roughly you will uh, take them and bend them and you don't want to do that I'm going to show you for a moment this is my really dirty cloth I'm always using for everything you can wash them and dry them off really carefully but I sometimes don't have always uh, the access to wash them quickly so I'm going to use a wet cloth and I'm going to put it down and really gently Go over it and take off the excess um, ink that is on there. So I'm not I'm going to not going to rub over it really roughly. Then I will be drying it. Just go over it and it's clean. So just a little tip. Yes, the budding stem. This is the piece that cuts the whole stem out. And if you are done and used the stencils, you get this or this one with the pink or the yellow. So this is really easy. Uh, I think the stencils are really easy in use. And um, you can create a card with them like this it's really great and use a sentiment but i'm going to make something else so i took a um a5 base card and i put a yellow background on it so i will be sticking this on the card and I want to make sure this is in the center. So first, <laughs> I have to take some glue. And of course, it's stuck. Mm -hmm, like this. I'm going to add some glue to it just here and there. If the glue will come out, yes. I think I have to make sure I will thoroughly clean, clean my nozzle. So, just a little bit glue. Here and there, it doesn't have to cover it all the way. But, da da. <coughs> It 
see if I or any questions you can see I'm using the colors uh, yellow and blue still for the Ukraine cards so I think that's enough because it doesn't have like this so then I will be sticking this piece on there I will be using a bigger glue bottle that's a bit quicker do, 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 do. Just go around, oop, around it, like that, and then I have to find the piece where I, so it sits over all the small bits there, yes, that's quick, <laughs> sometimes I have to look and find it's a little bit well, okay. So so you can see it's really easy to put that on there. And let me see if I am going to use the yellow one with the yellow butt or the pink butt. Hi Catherine. <laughs> So what do you think? Shall I use the yellow or the the one with the yellow butt or the pink one? Let's have a look. The pink one. Pink, pink, pink. Yeah, pink is lovely. I love pink. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mary, yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I will be using the, yeah, they're both lovely. And you can see it's really easy. You don't have to do a lot of work to create the card. So I'm going to be using this one. And I think I will be, um, let's see, where are my, pom pom pom. look my foam tape I always love foam tape pink yay <laughs> yeah pink th uh, stands out because it's a yellow card that's true no. let's add some foam tape I always love foam tape it gives a little bit extra on a card if pieces are just a bit lifted from the card and sometimes I do flat flat ones also so that's just what my creative mind will do or <laughs> what my head says I will be what uh, it likes so just take off the bits Pop on. Oop. Sticky. Oop. I'm just going to put it over here like this. What would be beautiful also if you use the, um, <coughs> the Euphoria glitter pa uh, papers. That would be great also, but I wanted to do the yellow and the blue tonight so I am using that so I'm just going to put some glue over here and I'm going to stick it on the shadow part do, do, do. just some dots here hop 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 that's Dutch hop hop Let's 
see. And there is the smile. And I think I will also be using the foam tape for that. Oh, you can't do that card, <laughs> a card without it. No. <laughs> it, it's really, yeah, I love it. The one who thought of making the foam dots and tape and everything. That was really a genius. So. Just snip it here, snip there. I hope everyone had a lovely um, International Women's Day. I saw it on Facebook that it was International Foams Day, uh, Women's Day. Foams Day, really. My head is not really <laughs> with it when I'm crafting. We had amazing, lovely weather. The sun was shining and it was a bit cold, but... That's not, I don't uh, mind that it be, that it's cold, but when the sun shines, it makes everything so much better. So now I'm going to take this smile and stick that, oh, I have to shift that Whoop. over there. That's better. <laughs> so that's the smile. So it's really quick. It's really easy. Let me take that a little bit down. And then I will be using these sentiments because I think it can use something extra. These are great. They come in um, gold and white and silver letters black and also in black and white so i think i will be using the gold let's have a look where the gold because yes these are the gold so they have many many sentiments on there and let's see it has two sheets with happy birthday for a special dad, mom, grandma, happy anniversary. My gosh, you can make so many cards with them. Sending happy smiles, zoom you later. Um, life is better with you in it. And let's have a think what I will be adding over here. Smile. Be bright, be happy, be you. Strong but fragal. I mean, I think that's a good one. Yeah, it's really, I really love the sentiments. I'm going to turn it over because if I don't do that, I will be sticking the sentiment crooked on the card and that won't be, won't look good. So, let's have a seat a moment. I'm going to have to zoom out for a bit, one moment. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. You can see really the card. Yeah. Well, that's my card. <laughs> you can see it's really quick and easy. And um, I think you all can know these um, honeycomb slim line dies. You can really easily extend to create a whole card you could also do the whole card with the honeycomb but it's just every time expanding the die and repeating it so it's really easy well if there are any questions about it or anything uh, you can just ask them and um, i hope this uh, gave you some inspiration to create a card like this and uh, if you create a card like this, just show it in the group. We would love that to see the creations. I mean, everyone creates such beautiful cards with the products from Lisa Horton Crafts. It's so fun to see how people love the products and 
create beautiful things. Um, thank you for watching and um, wishing you a really good evening. And I will be here back again, I think, in two weeks. I want to try to keep it up to be bi-weekly live on Tuesday evening. So thank you much, very much for watching and have a good night. Goodbye.